Hi friends, hope you are fine. Today let us understand prokaryotic cell structure and function within 5 minutes. We will be discussing each structure and their function one by one. Let's begin with nucleoid. As you see, nucleoid is the region of cytoplasm where prokaryotic DNA is located. Prokaryotic DNA is not surrounded by a membrane. That's why it is called as prokaryote. That means having a primitive nucleus. Second structure is plasmid. Plasmids are extrachromosomal double-stranded circular DNA that is present in prokaryotic cells like bacteria. So this is the bacterial genome or bacterial DNA and these are the plasmids. Plasmids encodes for genes for fertility, resistance against antibiotics or certain chemicals like collisins that gives the bacteria having this plasmid an extra advantage. The third structure is cytoplasm. Cytoplasm as we all know it is a gel-like matrix with water, enzymes, nutrients. All cellular structures are distributed or dispersed in the cytoplasm. The fourth structure is the ribosome. Ribosome as in eukaryotes, it is a site of protein synthesis. In prokaryotes, it is 70 years. In prokaryotes, ribosomes as you see are freely distributed in the cytoplasm. Unlike the attached ribosomes in rough endoplasmic reticulum of eukaryotes. Then inclusions. Inclusions are actually cytoplasmic aggregates that stores proteins, carbohydrates, etc. There are many cell inclusions in prokaryotic cells. And next structure is the plasma membrane. Plasma membrane just like eukaryotes, it is made up of phospholipid bilayer and proteins. It is selectively permeable and it controls the passage of materials and it ensures a constant internal environment within the prokaryotic cell. Next structure is the cell wall. Prokaryotic cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan. Exceptions are archaebacteria where cell wall is made up of different types of polysaccharides. And this is the structure of peptidoglycan. As you see, it's made up of N-acetyl muramic acid and N-acetyl glucosamine and that is cross-linked by amino acids or peptide chains. One of the speciality of this cross-linking is generally in nature L-amino acids are present but in peptidoglycan cell wall D-amino acids are also present. And the next structure is the capsule. In some bacteria there is an extra covering or extra envelope that is seen outside to the cell wall that is made up of complex polysaccharides. And this capsule helps bacteria, protects from desiccation or dehydration and also helps to survive in harsh environments. Often majority of capsulated bacteria are more virulent and pathogenic compared to non-capsulated bacteria. Structure number nine is flagella. Flagella as you know it is a structure fine whip-like structure that is meant for locomotion or movement of bacteria or this rotates actually propels the bacteria forward. It's made up of protein called flagellin. Next structure is the fimbriae. These are all cell surface appendages. Fimbriae is as you see this is very short and that is that covers the inner surface of bacteria and that is primarily meant for cell to cell attachment and also to attach bacterial cell to host or any other surface. And the final structure is the pilus. Pilus as you see it is longer than this fimbriae but shorter than flagella. The number of pilus is often less. These are fine structures that is meant for attachment or cell to cell contact during conjugation in bacteria. As you see this is the conjugation pilus or bacteria comes in contact and forms the spilus helps in attachment and formation of conjugation tube during conjugation. These are the structures 
in a prokaryotic cell. Hope this video is helpful for you. Please consider subscribing this channel, share this content. Stay safe and stay blessed. Thank you so much.